Hello viewers, today we are discussing one more concept. What are the losses is there inside of the transformer? Now one by one, go ahead. Yes, like the losses two types. One is the major, second one is the minor losses. These are the major losses, minor losses. Two category we are divided in two categories. If you go for major losses, one is called copper losses. Second one is called iron losses. The minor losses one is called as payload losses. Payload losses. Second one is the Dielectric losses. Second one is the dielectric losses. These are all the two categories. Each category is two two is there. First, if you go for the copper losses, the copper losses various take place. The copper losses is takes place on the. This is the transformer. This is the transformer. This is called primary winding. This is called secondary winding. The copper losses is takes place on winding. It's a primary winding or secondary winding. The losses is takes place on that area only. Next, if you go for the second one, iron losses. The iron losses may be classified in two types. One is the hysteresis losses. Second one is the ED current losses. The hysteresis losses and ED current losses, these take place. The hysteresis losses, ED current losses, these take place on that core. Transformer core is there, core area is happening. The losses is takes place on that core area. The core, we are made up of a silica steel. The silica steel have a the hysteresis coefficient is less so that the hysteresis losses is less. Next, if you go for the ED current losses, the ED current losses also is takes place on the core area only. These losses is reducing basically before silica steel more ED current losses is there. After that, we are adding 4 to 5 percent of silica. The ED current losses also it will be reduced. After that, this is the solid core. After that, that the solid core we are laminated. That core become laminated. That purpose also the ED current is reducing. Here, ED current losses is more. Here, ED current losses is less. This way, ED current losses also is reduced. If you go for the uh, major losses, uh, minor losses, the minor losses one is the stray load losses. The stray load losses again we can classify into two types. One is the copper stray load losses. Second one is the iron stray load losses. The copper stray load losses is takes place same winding. This is called winding. This is called winding stray load losses. Solid. This is called a solid conductor. This is called a solid conductor. Instead of that solid conductor, standard conductors we are using. This is called a solid conductor. Instead of solid conductor, the standard conductor you are using. This stable copper losses it will be reduced. After that, if you go for the iron stable losses, the iron stable losses is happening on the inside of the transformer this is the core this is the winding inside of the transformer core it's a normal flux was producing and some flux was leaking with the tank some flux is leaking some flux is leakage this flux is called leakage flux this loss is called as iron stable losses these losses is called as 
iron steel rule losses these losses is depending on the load current load current is varying these leakage flux also vary load current is increasing the leakage flux is increasing similarly iron steel rule losses is increasing the load is reducing the uh, leakage flux is reducing same as well as the losses it will be reducing if you go for the final is the dielectric losses the dielectric losses is takes place on that insulation area this is the core this is the hv binding this is the lv binding hv binding lv binding in between insulation we are using in that area the dielectric losses is take place 